Let's get Lee Evans in here. Lee Evans. Lee Evans is promoting a uh, a thing. I forgot he was in Austin about Mary. Hello. Oh yeah. Oh, oh hey, Lee. yeah. Hello. On notice, bro. Hello, sir. Oh, I, I know, know you. Right. What's up, man? Thanks for. We had your. Uh, Don't we mind had, us eating. We had Billy Connolly in here like last week. He killed for us. He was hilarious. He's nice, Billy, isn't he? We like Billy. You want some sandwich? Uh, no, sir. I'm a bit nervous. If you want me to be honest. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't imagine no. would be no. nervous. Lee Evans live. Uh, Lee uh, Evans, same planet, different world at the 37 Arts Theater. Help him with the headphones, for Christ's sake. 450 right, West 37th Street from May 19th. That's today. Uh, happy anniversary, by the way, Anthony. Oh, uh, thanks, through man. June 3rd. I keep bringing that shit up. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> just waiting for you just uh, to rant. Uh, through June 3rd, for tickets and info, call the box office, 212-560-8912. Says you released a DVD live at Wembley. You did a gig at Wembley Stadium? Mm-hmm. How many people? Uh, two. <laughs> we played the booth next door. <laughs> Hold on, food guy is out of here. <laughs> oh, hey, we can use the name, right? <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> no, uh, I don't know how many, I, sir. I, I think there was about 10,000, but they were all family. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they all came down. <laughs> uh, food guy's leaving. Good. Do we have to plug food guy? Yeah. What's the name of this swill? I don't know. We're 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 <laughs> this is like our eating interview. No, everybody get uh, enjoy your food. Yes. Everything's great. Excellent. Yes. If you guys need anything, call me over at Boca. We're on 50th. One, ah, uh, Boca. 135 50th. You guys nice. take care of Ron and Fez, right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I've take heard uh, Ronnie sit back there and go. I like the Boca. Good thing he didn't bring any soda. I like the Boca to Fez. <laughs> All right. Good yeah, stuff, and, and if food. you need anything, ask for Brian. That's me. I'll take care of you guys. Brian at Boca. Uh, I need a soda. You need a soda? Well, send someone out to get it. That's not his All right. responsibility. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you, cult. sir. You want a beverage, Lee? Bye, Brian. Mm? You, want, you want a beverage? No, I've got to be honest. I ate there once. Yeah? And mm. I was like... You didn't like it? No, I just shit my pants. <laughs> but I didn't want to say because he was in the room, but now he's out. Now it's cool. Now that yeah. we're all eating this. Oh, man. You know, the to me in the toilet, we were friends. <laughs> What's with the camera for? It's making, is this like... You're really nervous. We um, really want to be on television. Bed. Oh, do you? So we do radio, but we fake that we're on television. Uh, that, that camera's not even rolling. No, yeah, there's no, no we, tape We like in to it look important like we might be doing something. Because oh, yeah, look okay. how ridiculously big it is. You can do the yeah. same thing with a palm quarter these days, but then yeah. we wouldn't feel like television. <laughs> right. That's like on his shoulder like it's 1983. <laughs> that camera right there is on you, though. That, that's pal talk. It's where people talk in these chat rooms on video. Oh, it is? And you can see it on Anthony's screen over there. Oh, the my girls. Lord. Yeah, we got girls. Sometimes they'll show their tits. It's lovely. Us oh and my you. God. And Seriously? Yeah. yeah. On, on, actually, on the camera? Yeah, at live yeah. right now as we speak. Point, pick one out, like, maybe. Oh, no, this is like porn. Would any girl please flesh a breast? Well, no, Le have, a very, uh, have Lee uh, point to one of the girls. Which one you want? Uh, this one. He pointed to himself. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, no, this is porn. I'm not allowed. I'm from a religious cult, and I, I'm not allowed to do this sort of thing. I have to go and see my guide now. A re yeah. religious cult. Yeah, he's gonna tell me that I've done wrong. I didn't think they were that strict. Oh, they're very cult. strict. Look at my shirt. Yeah, it looks ripped. He tore me to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a shirt that looks ripped. I know, it's, but it's actually made like that's that. That's actually an extra. You pay extra for the yeah. for the lion kind of. They put you in a room with to a make it look like lion. you were mauled. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, wow, you point on a screen and uh, that's that's does does it does their mum and dad know that they're doing this? I don't think so. My Lord. They could hear you talking. Also, they like you. you you say, oh. hey, show us your tits, and they'll do it. No, keep your clothes on. <laughs> keep them on. Certainly. Hey, uh, this this whole thing with uh, Paul McCartney there and, and his uh, new uh, ex, new soon-to-be ex-wife, is that big news over there in uh, England? In England, uh, yes, it is. That's like yeah. on the level of, like, I think it's what here? Big everywhere. Yeah. Like Britney dropping her baby big? Yes, that, Britney, <laughs> because yeah. Because that seems to be, like, big news here for some fucking reason. It's on the cover of the Daily News. Oh, man. Uh, People understand there's a war on. Well, there was a woman also in England that had a baby stolen from the bottom of her bed. In, just as I left. Uh, uh, um, it wasn't me. Are you admitting? Yeah. No, no. 
But I, I so, kind of thought they should leave the umbilical cord on because then it would sort of solve that problem. <laughs> why <laughs> cut it? Run, like, why you cut got it? got a great plan there. You can't <laughs> run down the road with a woman dragging behind you. I just, I, I just a thought, really. And then when they get a little older, yeah, then you cut it. Well, you could. Well, no, leave it on. <laughs> How long? Until you die and just drag a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know. Gotta be with your mum. <laughs> this is my mum. <laughs> You're yeah. 35 years old, dragging her to job interviews. Yeah, but her mother would be there. It'd just be a string of oh, old a ladies. Big string of old. <laughs> yeah, just like wow. A, you're trying to fuck the one good-looking one on the end. Yeah, it's like a charm bracelet of old people. <laughs> Four thousand people attached. To it. <laughs> we all got to get on the bus. It's <laughs> horrible. Yeah, but it would open up like a clothing line just yeah, for I, the Yeah, I just want to say something. One of those ladies on that screen is my wife. Oh, wow. Yeah. Which and one? One. Uh, That's nice. I hope it's one of the cute ones. Yes, it is. Not the one Opie points out as ugly. <laughs> but we don't identify who it is. Okay. So they uh, never know. They feel good. It's like at the firing squad where one guy gets a magazine with no bullets in it. So you can always have that <laughs> element of a doubt. The girls we go and see like her right there. She's ugly. Oh, but, but they she all just ruined the whole <laughs> No, no, but she doesn't know that it's her. Because there are a whole, so many girls up on the screen that they all go, it can't be me. Like <laughs> <laughs> That one I'd sleep with, that one I'd sleep with, and that one I'd kick in the mouth if she spoke to me. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's already been kicked in the mouth. <laughs> Did she speak to you one time? <laughs> you know there are girls that absolutely know we're not talking about them. Yeah. But then you know there's girls that go... Are, are they talking about me? Is and then there's cause some girls that go, oh, I just know they're talking about me. I know it's me. Why don't we just say it? No, don't say it. Don't be hurtful. Please. Because they're here sharing. I there think are the little... internet is all porn anyway. I mean, you only have yeah. to log on just to get your email, and it just comes up, cock extension vibe. <laughs> and you think, it's like the search engines have got Tourette's. Yeah. You know? Because anything just... you type in, it relate back to porn. Cabbages. See the guy with loads of carrots up his ass. It's always, you know, it's always, and it comes up on your screen. You can't get rid of it. We've talked about that before. Where you, where you actually have, believe it or not, a legitimate thing to look up on the internet. Yeah. And ten minutes later, at most, It'd be up. you're you're on porn, yeah. and you have no idea what you were looking up no. or why no. or how. Like, and it was something very important. Yeah. Here's an example. <laughs> Dude, get Google. Type in cunt catchers. <laughs> I bet something comes up. <laughs> <laughs> I bet something really innocent comes up, like yeah, that. Maybe that. Yes. <laughs> gorilla wrap. Well, the Urban Dictionary comes up. <laughs> yeah, that'll be it. Yeah, but it, it's usually uh, when you're when you're trying to do something serious. Yeah, that's Once right. in a blue moon. But and that, man, you, you get lost in it, right? You just kind of, yeah. oh, wait a minute, let me you're see You're kind that. of following this roadway, yeah. and you're taking turns, and all of a sudden, how did I end up here? I know, and it's like Dante's Inferno. It just drags you down, and Pulls like, you it down gets right worse into and it. worse, and then there's like people kind of... You know, there's like feces involved. You know, and you're like, where did I get it? I was looking up like a word. And then some Asian girl is standing behind a man in a bridal gown, shitting in her face. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not even making that up. Yeah. That's when you look up hot images. <laughs> and then when you look, when you're trying to do something, this also pisses me off. When you're just fucking around, you're bored shitless. You're on the internet. You, you're you're just watching videos of. Kids shooting people and with paintball guns from their cars. Nothing to do. Your computer works perfectly. The second you have to order something that has to be there tomorrow, it yeah. freezes up on you, doesn't work, locks, computer just goes down. <laughs> Anything else that you're wasting time on works fine. Perfect. Let's say hi to Jeff in Connecticut. Jeff? Hey, there, hey Jeff. guys. How's it going? Good. We're on with Lee Evans. Yeah, I just want to say, uh, he was on BBC America, his hour and a half stand-up. That is a funny son of a bitch, and I've never seen anybody sweat so much in my life. Oh, uh, well, thank you very much indeed. I Hi. do sweat a lot. I think it's nerves. I get very nervous. Yeah? Yeah, I do. Yeah, like great it. show, though. Really good, funny guy. Well, you still get nervous live? Of you, sir. Yeah, I do. Getting out yeah. on stage. I don't know what it is. I think I'm sort of slightly um, deficient. In some way. In some, in some way? Yeah, I, I, feel? I, I suffer nerves very badly. Yeah. I do. I, it's I, a great profession, then. But don't you, like, yeah, bomb everybody? Worst, That's yeah, got to be I crazy. I should be in bomb disposal or something. <laughs> <laughs> don't you? Yeah, well, you're always nervous, and you have a reason for it. Don't you Don't you feel, like, really nervous <laughs> before you got to go on stage, but then once you're out there doing it, you loosen up? Well, and, no, because I, I've got all this stuff roaming about in my head, and I can't quite remember it, and oh, I, I have no way of going through it. You know, like, some people go, oh, I remember eyes. I think eyes and then i think gets ace gets that you know and i'm i've got no none of that there's no, no reference kind of, point. no none of that kind of 
I used to sing in, in uh, bands, and uh, sometimes the music would start, mm. and I would go, holy shit, I have no idea what the first line of this song is. <laughs> yeah. And the music's going and going, the intro music, and it's time to kick in. And the second I'm supposed to sing, boom, it, it, it clicks you. in my head. Yeah. But the no, the anxiety you get before that going, oh, my God, I'm going to look like a fucking idiot. Yeah. Here it comes, here it comes. And you know exactly when you're going to look like an idiot because you know the song. Yeah, <laughs> I've actually started jokes and, like, I start a joke, and I, I know right now I cannot say the part. I cannot go to the end. Oh. But it's like your mouth is so accustomed to saying it, it just goes into that. And you're like, yeah. I told the joke, and I didn't remember a fucking right, right, right. And you didn't know where it was going to end. What about when it's over? Do you, like, enjoy that you did it? Uh, I'm so still... relieved, yeah. yeah. I know I'm in the wrong job. I don't know how I got here. I started no. off in Same. bands when I was Same. in art college and stuff. Yeah. And uh, it was all sort of punk and all that then, <clears> you know. <throat> and we just, just the, the basic gig was you'd walk on stage, someone spits at you, <laughs> you'd dive at them and sort of smash the guitar <laughs> over and everyone went, yeah, I like it. <laughs> and you went home, you know, that was the gig. And no one give a shit about the music at all. Right. You it's know. all about what the people are seeing and just being around. Yeah, oh, we had a lead singer, this guy called David, and he was like an animal. He had so like n no head. <laughs> he just like this. He just had a neck with eyes on it, and, uh, and he would just lunge at the crowd. That was the opening number. <laughs> you know, oh, we like these lot. You know, it's mad. You, what are you doing with Richard Dreyfus, man? You doing the, the producer? Is that here or in? A, in a, no, in we a... do. Uh, we we had, uh, it, that was in England, in London. So you, nice. You guys yeah. are playing the two. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying? Uh, I well no. It's in bands, but yeah, I asked if I could mime, but they, you know, it's not we like don't mime music. The producers, it's not like you know Le Miz, no. where you gotta like be a really good singer. Yeah, and, and also stuff. it's all that emotion stuff. It. At least you can have some fun, you know. If yeah. you're doing some comedy, you know, you know what it's like. But uh, you know, if the, these sort of serious musicals, I don't know how to go through the motions every night. It's so kind of yeah, you know, it's it's constantly. Fun. And and it's not like every word is is sung like some of these things um what oh, was some that? of them they sing some of every the entire word. thing and i think les mis is one of those where it's like i am here to say to you today <laughs> that <laughs> i have walked a whole street length <laughs> to knock on your door and say all right, all right can you just talk about it and then you know get to a song later <laughs> we'll understand it's a musical everything they I know, do I, know. Is... I saw somebody die in a musical once they stabbed them and they went oh <laughs> no, I'm thinking, fuck, you wouldn't do that. He'd no say, way. He stab me, <laughs> son of a bitch. I am dying. <laughs> Please call 911. <laughs> In London, you know, it's 999. It takes fucking ages. Is it one? <laughs> nine. Oh, uh, nine. It, it should absolutely be 111. I don't know who come up with the 999. Nine. It's like the longest fucking thing. <laughs> you know, there's like some guy dying of heart attack. Nine. Nine. Uh, nine. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, it's like that, you know. You know, at least you got the nine, the, then the one one. Yeah, you know. You get the long one out of the way at first. Yeah, somebody if went you're nine. Still alive. Oh, too long. We should do the one one. You got it. I think it's sort of like a triage. A triage. If you could, here, <laughs> if you could get through the first nine, then we'll give you the easy there you one. Go, yeah. If not, you're dead. You probably wouldn't have made it anyway. Yeah, it's like going through college, but on the phone. So. <laughs> yeah, all the work, and then the one one. Okay. <laughs> hey, let's say hi to Jim in South Carolina. Jim, what's up? Hey, uh, Lee, I love your work. I just wanted to ask you real quick uh, yes, who you're going for in the World Cup. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. The well, World Cup. Who watches the World Cup? I everyone, know. everyone but us. <laughs> I know. You're Everybody up. but us. <laughs> I know. I'm us sorry. Pompous if, American. If we're not watching, uh, is there ask, really a World uh, Cup? Uh, what is, uh, is soccer? Uh, how is it? Is it big here? Because I know American football's huge and baseball. Yeah, they've, been no. to, they've been trying to make soccer huge in America for it doesn't uh, decades. Work. No. But you, you know, it saying that, your, your, uh, the American side, the soccer side, is rated fourth in the world. They're amazing Who side. Who cares? Uh, they're really good. Though. I know they? you don't like it, sir. I'm sorry. You know what it is? It's. I think a lot of Europe. Europeans that live here, yeah, uh, and 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 Mexicans, and Mexicans too. Mexicans they come well, up, yeah, they absolutely. love it. Uh, you went, uh, during the finals, forget about it. You see little Toyota Corollas with Brazilian flags tied to their yeah. hood all yeah, over the place. They go nuts for it, but they go crazy. By no, that. I know, I know what you mean, sir. I, I couldn't. Know. I we couldn't hear mean. football and wear, you know, yeah, shoulder pads right. and helmets. In Europe, they nuts about it. I mean, yeah. they 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 fight you for it. Well, well you know, well, if somebody sort of um, bad mouths your side, then you yeah. someone would just eat you over the head with well, a glass. Well, it is soccer hooligans. 
Yeah. I'm a soccer hooligan. I love that. <laughs> just drinking and punching people's faces in because they badmouth their team. They burn villages. You gotta love oh. them. We do it during the World <laughs> Series, but they do it during the fucking like the third game in June. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spring training, right? That's great. Oh, Big so I think riots the, in the stands. I, I, I think the final would be Brazil. Yeah. And uh, just to answer that that chap's question, mm -hmm. I but think why? Be... But why soccer? Why the excitement? There's nothing else going on in Europe. <laughs> I think uh, no, there isn't. We just eat potatoes. <laughs> I mean, we have one, two. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it's like. There's none, the sun never comes out. We're damp and we're hunched over, <laughs> wilted, miserable. It'll never work. I don't know what's the point. Arguing why they, whether they should accept the euro or not. Yes, yeah, so we there. have the euro now. Very big. We, we still got the we pound. We love the pound. The yeah, pound. Yeah, Everyone we're... loves the pound. Yeah, I know. It's so charming. The euro is just one of those things, but it's like pound. And no well, one we can quite figure out. we got all this funny looking chat. we got this, uh, you know, like, you got stuff, this, everything's round. And we got, yeah. like, this uh, stuff that with fucking edges on it. And Yeah, it's very ancient. It is like ancient. Like something that it should come in a little sack. Here you go for the murder. <laughs> you know? And they give you, like, this octagon piece of silver. That's These right. These are great. There's, like, a picture of some guy from 8,000 years ago on that's it. That's right. That's right. Well, didn't England kind of, didn't England say kind of fuck the uh, euro? Like, everyone else wanted it, but England was kind of, like, a little resistant of it. I know. They yeah, they don't want to. They, yeah, they don't need accept it. it. Uh, they don't no, need they didn't it. want to get involved. Captain yeah. Obvious wants it. Got their money. It's worth a lot. Mm. Yeah, a pound is worth more. Captain yeah. Obvious, uh, Neil, New York, what's up? Yeah, all right, lads. Yeah, I was gonna say, soccer, yeah, or football is actually very popular over here. You just uh, the media, they, they don't, they don't put it on television. But if you talk to people on the street, uh, going to bar, whatever. You'll, you'll find out that a lot of people in this country really enjoy the sport. I don't know about that, because the other day we walked with the Stanley Cup, and half of uh, the New Yorkers we passed had no idea it was the Stanley Cup. Then again, in New so, York, so you expect them yeah, to know uh, World Cup soccer? You could walk with a fucking severed head in Manhattan, and most people <laughs> still wouldn't look at you. We'll try that on our next <laughs> walk. <laughs> Well, you guys have no guns, though. That's a good thing. Yeah, we just have right? a stick. The police have a stick. <laughs> you have, they have to phone in to use a gun. Are you kidding? No, if there's a situation, they ring up and they go, oh, there's a chap with a gun. <laughs> Come I, on! No, could you send one down for me? <laughs> so, like, half an hour later, some guy turns up with a big case, with a big key and a lock, and they go, here we are. Here's the gun. Yeah, meanwhile, he's kind of on the sidewalk <laughs> bleeding to death. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. There is, uh, there is a lot of complaints about this, we, and there's, like, police running is all over really the Is there really truth to that? Well, because we had, uh, we had uh, uh, some bombs go off recently. Yeah, we wrote London. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. About the bombs. And that now there's police running all over London in like bulletproof jackets and stuff like that. And that's uh, we can't work that out. It's like millions of pounds of taxpayers' money can get shot in the head. It's just yeah. Right here. We're like, <laughs> what's the point? Just take a headshot. <laughs> just take a headshot. We can't understand. You know. But we, where they're trying to get to a situation where they don't want. Once you give the police guns, then the criminals are going to arm up more, and you know that's, that's yeah, not really escalate the whole thing. Yeah. But I've seen some. Wait, something. Dad, you knew that that they don't have guns over there. It's common the knowledge. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty common knowledge. But Jimmy, they do. Yeah, I thought it is. But they do have these no quick idea. reaction teams that are armed to the gills. Like they they have people that show up at these bomb site, bombing sites and stuff. That's right. That have all the guns that the other cops should have. Yeah. Like they come out with machine guns. And but they got such a difficult job, the police in London. Yeah. Because the they drug got dealers no have them, right? The drug dealers have them. Like they get they, they get guns. It's yeah. hard to. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's, people have got guns in mobiles. You see that the other day. In mobile cell phones, phones, yeah. Cell phones. They're heavier. They're, if you hold them, you can feel the weight difference, but yeah. to look at them, you wouldn't see There's a cell phone with four chambers that hold 22s. Yeah. Huh. And yeah. you could use it as a little gun. Just take a cool and blow your head off. Yeah. So. How's the, how's, how is the crime, though, over there? Because I, I hear there are certain areas that are pretty bad. Uh, um, no, it's okay. It's yeah. not too bad. I it's mean, it's not you, too bad. No, no, it's all right. Not like it, you feel relatively safe if you walk around, like, anywhere? Uh, in yeah. London? I mean, yeah, I, th I think it's very safe here as well. In New York. Yeah, huh? Don't but, you think? Yeah, but we're talking about, like, uptown. See, there's certain areas in New oh, York. Oh, well, you see, I don't know, because you, you, you have to take me up. You know what we're mugged. talking about, Lee. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know. I haven't had the full mugging yet. No? you got to, <laughs> well, you can't leave New York until you've been mugged. Oh, well, is that part of the tourist thing? <laughs> well, this is just a nice restaurant we like to eat at. It's, uh, it's 115th Street. 115th yeah. Street, yeah. way uptown. Yeah, it's, it's terrific, though. Yeah. 
Oh, good, you good might want to check it out a little later and then today. And don't leave. <laughs> stay late because that's when the entertainment really starts late yeah. at night. Oh, and the then sun just goes down. And then just take a nice stroll back downtown. <laughs> Have a nice meal at the Kill Whitey Grill. <laughs> <laughs> You, these are, are and really, ask for directions with that voice of yours. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, I'm new here. Excuse I'm me. The hell? Never been here. Can, uh, what, this money of yours. <laughs> <laughs> how much, not, how is, much this? is this? <laughs> yeah. You what, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, well, you know. Can I give you a 50? <laughs> is that okay? I mean, I know. I, well, I haven't been mugged yet. And I, 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 that's the thing. If you saw somebody getting mugged here, mm. would you go and help them out? No. Most no. people just look the other way. I'd help think, the attacker. I think if you, if, as long as you get your share, then fucking... Get, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need your piece. But I, I think I would. I'd help. I'd help. Yeah? Yeah. Ah, you, you, that's how you get killed. It's always the do-gooders. Is it? That wind up getting themselves in the middle. Yeah. Oh. Uh, a good Samaritan tried today to help a person getting mugged, and the person getting mugged is fine. The mugger yeah, is fine. Yeah, but there's that, that other thing where you might help them, and then you become a hero, and then you bring out a book. A hero ain't nothing but a sandwich, my friend. Good point, Ant. Good let point. Me just, let me oh. just be a little uh, profound and say hmm. that one. Yeah. What was uh, it, 74? I don't know. Old movie. Who cares? I got nothing. So we should talk about what you're doing there, Lee Evans. I want to actually come. I saw Lee live one time at the comic strip Everyone's here in New York. Great, is. great. Mm -hmm. uh, just a kind of a maniac on stage, but really funny. Um, and I really want to go see these shows. Or these yeah. them. It's uh, where at? It, it, well, it's called Same Planet, Different World at at the Thirty Seven Arts <laughs> Theater, four hundred and fifty West Thirty Seventh Street. Starts today through June third. Ticket info: Call the box office two one two five six zero eight nine one two. June third. Mm. That's a long gig. Two weeks, right? <laughs> you get two weeks out of it. Wow. Uh, yeah. How long do you do it? What are you doing, 90 minutes of a show? Uh, yes, two. two uh, is it 45? I don't know what they do here. I can do it's a couple all of metric. hours if they want. The time is metric, right, yeah, that you're used to? Oh, maybe I didn't even start yet. <laughs> Center minutes or something? <laughs> yeah, I have to do it in meters. <laughs> <laughs> meters. I do. Yeah, you're on for five meters. meters. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, you tried to get us uh, on that meter thing. Yeah, yeah, that we whole metric thing. We yeah. weren't buying that. We that's weren't buying that. That's when I was in school, and they're like, you know, by the time you're uh, grown up and get a job, they're all, the whole United States is going to be on that metric. System. I was yeah. just amazed like, that yeah, America sure. listened to the idea because there was yeah. about two or three years there where we were really considering it. And then they put it uh, both on everything for a while. Yeah. They try to figure well, out. You like, still got gallons and yeah. stuff. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. We got all that old timey we've got stuff. Got liters. Yeah, suddenly, I heard about the suddenly, liter. Suddenly, like petrol and gas was really cheap because we suddenly went liters. <laughs> yeah. and went, wow, it's only like you know we are, they owe us money. For <laughs> yeah, petrol. yeah. yeah. You are, you're getting what amounts to a quart. Yeah, yeah. What's, <laughs> a quart. Yeah, what's the gas price up to these days? It's uh, it's actually. Um, we're getting close to you guys finally. Yeah, it's like one pound, uh, one pound. Five or six dollars a per gallon. Liter. Per liter. Much oh, you, you yeah. want us to do math now? Wait, yeah, how many liters in a pound? I mean, uh, I know, but a lot of people. A pound. Uh, three. <laughs> no, it would be a gallon. <laughs> a gallon. I mean, he said pound. <laughs> I don't know. That's okay, like a trumpet terrific. Playing. Well done. That is That's money a bit thing. Of trumpet playing. And then there's qu quid. Quid. How much is a quid? And then they've got all these other names, like Shilling. monkey. You a know, monkey? Yeah, they give you like a five pound. They say, oh, that's a monkey, and here's a donkey, and a hoof. <laughs> yeah, there's all these uh, slang. Well, slang. it would be like a buck. Yeah, buck. You know, here's a dollar yeah. or a buck. Yeah, there's all this kind mm -hmm. of, give you a, uh, you know, here's a chimp. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a chimp. I, I'm a millionaire, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. Uh. I Can't love rhyming, so I love you, English. What is gas up to, though? Five or six dollars a gallon over there? Over there, is it? How many liters? In I believe there? they call it petrol over there. Petrol, yeah, yeah it's, it's petrol. Gas. It's gas. Oh, thank you. The juice. The how many liters? Juice. In, how what many liters it? in a gallon? The hell are you? How many liters in a gallon? I would say three point six. God, you know. Yeah, but I, is it? It's oh, somewhere very close to that. Has no idea. You could be, it could be 50 and you could be off. Like, right, that sounds well, good. You know. <laughs> Three, two. Now I'm getting 18 different answers there. 3.2? Oh, some people can tell I'll you. go with 3.2. So how much uh, per liter again? 3.8. I'm going to do the math. Oh, but you're doing pounds. We don't oh, know pounds. Means... Forget what, it. What's the conversion for that? I don't know. It's, you know it's impossible <laughs> to figure out how much money... It costs to buy a gallon of gas as opposed to here. Didn't they call this the new math when we were growing up? It would take a mathematical genius to figure out the the, the actual ah. price, and we just don't have one here. How many pound, dollars to a pound, though? The pound kills us. Eight. 1.87. Eight. 
What? One point. Do some one math. Point eight. You are not ever going to get this. Wait, yes, you don't are. even try it, how you many, idiot. How many liters in a gallon, but you got to take away two quarts for the initial fill-up? <laughs> Wait, 1.87 what? You just don't want to do this uh, at a gas station, dude. What? Dollars it's per pound? 3.8 liters in a gallon. All right, 3.8. They're not liters, so I, I'm 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 almost there. So no, you're not. How many, you are so how far many, from there? How many pounds for one liter of gas? Are you really working yeah. now? Oh, well done. <laughs> how many? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I'll take a bicycle. Three point, <laughs> one point eight seven times three point eight. No, because how many pounds? In, Trust me. How many pounds for a liter of gas? That's all I need to know, and I got it. Three point eight seven oh, well times one point eight seven will give you dollars. Trust me. Yeah, but he needs to know the cost of gas per thing. gallon. You have to take that and multiply it by. The yeah, price. yeah, by the price. Three point eight seven is the amount of liters in a gallon. I just need to know how much. He needs the fucking price. I One need point the price. Oh. in England. Oh. How many pounds for a liter of gas? Uh, I think it's about one pound five pence. <laughs> and, and a monkey oh, Jesus. And, and a chimp <laughs> and a small sheep oh. <laughs> I can do five sheep for that chimp yeah how is, uh, how's the uh, royal family doing over there because right. uh, yeah. them yesterday. I was not so much dinner. scandal lately no I think they're keeping their heads down they're kind of they were a lot of scandal went on for a while well, and then the kids are growing up and doing their own thing yeah and uh, on all the stamps and are they a little upset about uh, the Prince uh, uh, William uh, kind of going bald a little young age there? Well, Is that no, they're going to the sort out some form of um, uh, rug. Are they going to put some kind yeah. of maybe a transplant or yeah, something? Yeah, be a royal rug though, be a special yeah. one. Why would you? It's like all I would, I would make girls blow me while I held a mirror over it and go <laughs> suck the future king's dick <laughs> and make them look at the bald spot. Oh, that's outrageous! That's our royal family. If you don't mind, I. <laughs> oh dear! You're saying that? That's his cock. You're saying, son. <laughs> Dan is saying seven dollars and six cents a gallon. Told you you'd get someone else said seven uh, uh seven a gallon. Did you so do my math? Oh. Close. Uh, yeah. Yes, we did the Jimmy math. Dan is so smart. Well, he's not. He just did what I told him. No, he didn't. All right. You told so him what's nothing. The, You're an idiot. So what's the show about? What's the show about? Same planet, uh, different world. Uh, well, it's just two hours of stand up, really. Uh, hopefully it's funny. Hopefully it's funny. You're doing yeah. two hours? Dude, 45 minutes, 50, Damn. maybe an hour. I, I, I fucking got it. I can't do any more than an hour. <laughs> I can't. Uh. Oh, I just think it gives you more chance to sort of. Um, uh, I've never uh, never had the chance to come to New York and do a bit of writing and because like, mm. usually you go to a stand up club and they go you're 18th and they go do your thing and they get back to limey son of a bitch <laughs> <laughs> who cares you guys ain't funny anyway you know and that's it and we're just sort of gone you know yeah. but, uh, so it's nice to to come over and have a chance just to get some stuff working really what do you like about America? Um, I think it's a nice place to come. It's very hospitable, and people yeah. are nice, aren't they? When you have that accent, they are. Are they? Yeah, yeah. girls oh. really love English accents, Aussie accents. Oh. They really like... Well, I'm not after any women or anything. No, I mean, I'm just not, I'm, I'm not saying... come here on the chance. That's why they're, like, cordial. <laughs> I didn't get off the plane with all equipment in a case. And... And be... <laughs> I'm in New York, and I've changed my accent. But people find it charming, <laughs> even guys, like you, because it's non-threatening. Oh, it's something it? not. Yeah, you can't be like, uh, g could could I rob you, please? <laughs> you know, it doesn't come across as threatening your oh, accent. Right. So it's kind of nice, and the girls, like I said, like it. I think uh, that's our schooling system. They just beat you down at school. You know. Is that what it yeah. is? Shut up. It's all that. Shut right. up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Would you kindly stab me in the eye again, sir? <laughs> you know, it's all that kind of stuff in school, you know. Are you touching yourself again? It's all that kind of stuff. You know? Yeah, yeah. Keep that guilt on oh, you. Oh, man. It's a nightmare, yeah. What, 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 your act, a lot of uh, just life observations and, and y your take on it. Yeah, and I'm, it? I'm, I'm not sure if it, and if it's going to work, really, but I'll try. It's just, you I know. I don't know. It's a chance. Very Story. animated. Not, very animated. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Really fun to watch. I remember years ago. I had never heard of you. Years ago in the comic strip. And someone's like, you got to watch this guy. You're really going to like him. Good. I hate when people just stand there, stiff and do. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Look as he's moving. Oh, that was while, my opening. <laughs> while tape recorder oh, plays with material. <laughs> then you fucking wave and grab the check. I'll just put the DVD on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it yeah, don't really forget that part. do come and... Because uh, um, uh, um, comedy-wise, it's uh, like a big event for them. 
uh, yeah. British comedians. It is whatever they say and tell you. It is. It's because it, you know a lot of good comedy has come out of America. So it's always a, uh, if somebody says, "Oh, do you fancy coming to New York for a couple of weeks?" and you think, "Oh God, I'd love to do that." Yeah. Yeah. Because you, like I said earlier, you know that you're 18th on in a comedy club and you don't you do 10 minutes and then the guys kind of getting you out the door. Yeah. And I, it's horrible that. I find it like I, I give you a lot of credit because I, I would find it horrifying to go to another country. Regardless, you know, the, the language is the same, relatively. Mm. But uh, to American do that... American comics do very well in England. Yeah, that's what I hear. Patrice has told me to go over many times. Mm. Uh, you know Patrice O'Neill? Uh, Big black guy. No one likes him. <laughs> Remarkably unpopular human being. But <laughs> they love him in England. He's a great comic. And right. uh, he's always saying, go over there, man. They, they really respond very well. Oh, you should do that, Jimmy. Uh, I don't know. I've always I've never been sure if that it would, would work cool. or not. I've always that would scare been, the well, hell out of me, it, though. Really? I mean, it's, you know, it's creative. 1010 Wins, uh, the news station here, has an English guy doing the traffic and I was like it stunned me I'm like how does he know the roads oh, right, like he's yeah. like the Long Island Expressway is a little backed <laughs> up today and, and I'm like I couldn't imagine going I couldn't name a road over there the no. G what do you got like some kind of what's the big highway over there uh, the M1 the M1 <laughs> There's a little bit of a bang up, you know. And well, you I, see, in England, I, I couldn't imagine like I'd be, I'd have maps and get everything wrong. Well, you got, you're on a grid system, so it's really easy to find everything here. They just yeah. they go up there, do a left, and it's oh, what are they paved cow paths over there like oh, Boston? It's <laughs> but in England, the Romans just built a road. So they strapped like a, I don't know, some sort of apparatus to an idiot, and they said, <laughs> <laughs> walk this way, and he went up like north somewhere, and it was called like M1. <laughs> it's That's called it. the M1 from now on. <laughs> And it's just, there, there's roads every, there's, wherever you look, you know. So you can't, it's difficult to give someone directions. Oh, man. If you said, oh, where's nuts. Piccadilly Circus? They go, oh, you need to go left, then right, and then up there, and then spend some days there with a, <laughs> some food. You have supplies, right? Uh, no, I don't have no supplies. Uh, well, then, then you need some, and take a small yak, and, you know, and it's fucking, it takes you days. Oh, you my God, that would drive me nuts. Beard and you, hey, let's but, go to Mike in New York. <laughs> oh, what's up, Mike? Hey, Lee, I loved you in uh, Something About Mary. I think you played uh, the best cock walker. <laughs> Thank you very much Walker. indeed. I loved doing that film. It was really good fun. That was, I, a, that was a great comedy. The Farrelly Brothers, man. That was a great one. Yeah. so cool. Right on. Never How was it working with Dreyfus, man? Uh, he was all right. I mean, it's interesting. It's, it's, it's just... It's always interesting when you're working with someone who's done that much work because yeah. all you're going to do is you're going to learn something. You know, I'm, I know I... I I don't presume I'm anything. I'm a fucking idiot. So I I stand there and I shut my mouth and you know these guys are big stars. So I kind of watch him and he was fascinating to watch in rehearsals and stuff like that. You know, watch these guys work. Can yeah. he sing? Uh, yeah, he could sing. Yeah. Really? We had him in here like two weeks ago. He didn't mention that. Really? Uh, yeah. Did you have him in here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Poseidon. Wow. Yeah, we, we, we heard him sing, though. It's, Show me swim? the Is way to go home. Yeah. Oh, he can yeah. swim, though, right? I'm tired and, and I want to go, go to bed. bed. And I had a little drink about an hour ago. And then the shark fucks the whole thing up. Yeah, and ruins the song. <laughs> it ruins the, the whole happens. song. I wanted to see the dance number. Exactly. <laughs> Robert Shaw gets up. Show me your scars. Show me your scars. <laughs> Musical Jaws. No one take that. Right. That's my chief. Don't forget your robbers. <laughs> <laughs> For 10,000, I'll kill them. <laughs> How do you not love Robert Shaw? You know Shaw? that shark's on tour now. Is it? Yeah, he's doing big, really well, that shark. The uh, mechanical one? Yeah. Bruce? Yeah, I he's think on they tour in England. On England? Yeah. See, in England, you guys get all the good stuff. People yeah. are just pointing at it. That looks nothing like a fucking shark. <laughs> <laughs> how, did that, how did that scare anybody in 1976? <laughs> shark stinks. I was petrified of that film. Did oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When, oh, yeah. Yeah. when that head come out of the boat. Do you remember that? Awful. Yeah. It's you know, still you, great. You think all the, the scariest parts would be the attacks or anything, but when he's underwater and that head just kind of drifts out, yeah. and now with all the CGI and effects and stuff, it kind of looks ridiculous and cheesy, <laughs> like the whole movie. But that, yeah. even that part, but really man. So I think it still holds that up. That scared the crap out yeah, of me. It's really it holds up because... They didn't show the shark that oh, much, right, right. which is a good well, thing now. Well, that film, you know, The Exorcist, that actually affected me for the rest of yeah. my life. Yeah. We lived in an, uh, an old shitty council house uh, when I was a kid, and we had, uh, uh, the bottom of my bed had these dodgy legs on it. Uh-oh. And I watched it, my brother introduced it to me, I was about 12, you know, this was like, wow. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, 12 and I was a bed, bad time to yeah, see that movie. Yeah, my bed kind of went, ah, <clears throat> like this, you know. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> scary shit, man. Joy, uh... Oh, this is about Jaws, and I'm too tough. Oh, I used to fantasize. You know, you're a kid, you fantasize about, like, what you want to do, like, you want to be an astronaut. And I would fantasize that I was in my swimming pool in my apartment complex, 
I don't know how the shark got in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was such a fucking asshole. I would fantasize that I was shooting it and doing Roy Scheider's line. <laughs> all, oh. all, you couldn't even commit and be in the ocean. No, I was in the You're pool. Scaredy cat. There had to be something believable when I fantasized. Like, and I, and I did was by a pool, but I had all the girls had to watch me, like say, "Smile, you son of a bitch," and kill the shark. You are a sad, sorry man. No, while I'm See, holding I, a I, shit I, and kneeling. And also, I think sharks get a bad press since that film. Everyone just yeah. hates them and wants to yeah. kill them. Yeah, and yeah. As soon as they see a fin, kill it. Well, every time on the news, every summer, they come up with the big shark attack stories. Every time, and, yeah. and if you look at the statistics, more people, we realized, in this country are killed by, by vending or... machines oh, <laughs> falling on them. L literally. Yeah. Vending machines falling on people yeah. have killed more people than sharks. But you sharks. don't see a film like with people hunting vending machines, do you? It wouldn't be very exciting. I don't know. You could have like, dun, a vending dun, machine suddenly fall out of a crack in dun, the boat. Dun, 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 Like a vending machine. You've got to quickly put money in it before it <laughs> gets you around the throat. Well, you pull up to a rest area and you just see a tipped over machine and two old person feet <laughs> and then everybody laughs and goes ah we're better off and that's the end of the movie yeah and they tie barrels to it and chuck it in the sea <laughs> yeah, yeah. he can't go down with three barrels <laughs> can't stay down full of snickers bars <laughs> he can't we ending the show yeah we should oh, get God. out of here actually let me give Lee, oh yeah promote Lee uh, Lee's a great, a great comic great job uh, 37 Arts Theater, uh, it's same planet, different world. It's 450 West 37th Street. Uh, it's May 19th. Was that tonight? Today through June 3rd. Ooh, through June 3rd. Uh, Lee has a very big fan base here, so definitely call for tickets. Uh, you can get the box office. is 212-560-8912. Or just go to Ticketmaster uh, for Lee Evans tonight through June 3rd. Good night out. Yep. Yeah, man, I'm actually going to go cool. to one of those thank shows. Thank you for having me. Uh, Lee, uh, thank you. Thanks for coming in. You're a blast, You're man. You're going to be around for a couple weeks. So you, you should come back before you uh, head out. Yeah, sorry I wasn't funnier. You're, You're great, man. Fine. No, what You're are you fine. kidding? Yeah, I've, I've had no sleep. That's like the English We've always. We've been on the radio I, since know. six, so. Oh, have you? Well done, you guys. Oh, thanks for having me. Sorry, That's very kind of you. Yeah, I know. I've been <laughs> blah, I'll mug you outside. <laughs> so, thank you very much. No problem, man. Let's get... Yeah, we're out of here for the weekend. Thanks for checking us out. See you yeah, Monday. Once again, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we'll see you guys Monday or or uh, maybe at Caroline's this weekend for the Brian Regan shows, right? Yeah. Ben, no. anything else? Nope. That's it? Yeah. Good. Big announcement next week. What is it? What? We already said it. You I teased. Know. Yeah. We'll uh, Jimmy Day. Info. Yeah, we'll give the information. Day is our big announcement. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like AIDS Day, <laughs> but fucking more tragic. <laughs> we'll have details on Jimmy Day when? Monday? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. A whole day. Uh... Can I ask you a question? Does that guy mm. actually do stand up with Tourette's? Yeah. 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 Have you seen him? Um, unfortunately, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's comedy? Not. No. <laughs> is it, what's it, what, is it, that's interesting, though, isn't it? We're not interested in his comedy. Yeah, it could. I don't know how it is. It's got to be very distracting. I mean, you know how everything yeah. is so contingent on timing. Yeah. And to get to the punchline and have... <laughs> 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 yeah, kinda. It's like a it's sort of one-off laugh, isn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you laugh with him, you laugh at him. No one cares. No one cares. They don't care as long as you're laughing. <laughs> and he gets that check. <laughs> <laughs> That's really weird. Yeah, he is a true fucking eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> but you have him in here. What sort of radio station are you running here? You're crazy. I know. Yeah. It's not uh, It's not real radio. It's good fun, yeah. though. Yeah. It does hang show, right? out. There's oh. nothing like that in England. It's really interesting. No? No, where a lo bunch of people gather around and have You got to get satellite. In England, but you're allowed to do what you like on here as well. Yeah, cursing, it's not like swearing, fine. and <laughs> yeah. You do, does anyone ever pull you up on it? Is there like some sort of authority? Uh, if there is, we don't even have a we boss don't know in about the building. It. Yeah, do the bosses are down in Washington. Yeah, we don't even have a boss. Yeah, you got a great job. Do you, do you, is it the same? You guys come in it's, every day? It's, yeah, yeah pretty much. Us, and then we have a collection of other people. <laughs> There's no real start time, no real end time. We just go off. We don't care what the hell we talk it's about. Fantastic, isn't it? Isn't it Funny. amazing? I love that. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, because, uh, and a lot of people years ago would talk about England and how free you guys are because television is a lot more open. They show the boobies. Yeah, but on, it's all on. like that repressed sexual stuff. Like, yeah, my yeah. mum is Irish and my dad's Welsh and everything is like, are you wanking in that fucking toilet again? It's like, no. You know, it's all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so we like to get tits out on TV. It's like, oh, fucking hell. Oh, See, but oh. here it's crazy. You can't show anything on regular TV. Right. Uh, people go crazy. You could show, you know, to thousands of dead people. <laughs> You could show naked dead people wow. as long as they're dead. I've seen on the news <laughs> naked dead people. If that person had a pulse, they'd get a violation and, and you can show it. How fucking sick. That's, that's insane. That is so insane. Oh.
That's your new ringtone? It's I your love it. I want that on my phone. It's yeah. stupid. It's the worst ring ever. And distracting. Yeah. Hi, Amy. Yes, I would love to talk to Fareed. Shortly, yeah. Fareed? Uh, almost. Right. Thank you so much for oh, having no. me. Hey, no it's problem, really man. Cunt. Really kind really of you. I want to give a shout out to you, too. Hey, why is cunt so popular over there? Uh, look, the word cunt? Yeah. Oh. Hi, Fareed. No, it's not. Nah. Don't worry oh, about it. Hey. Good, we just finished. Yeah, the guys who run this The word is, like, very popular, isn't it? A cunt? Yeah, because here the girls hate it. Yeah, what they do in England. Okay. Do they? Yeah, it's a, a really bad word. You just accept the yeah. truth of it there. <laughs> I mean, cunt. I, I mean, I said to my wife. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, do lunch yeah. with you, free. Shut the fuck up. No, I said to my wife once. What you know? What um? What's the equivalent in, for men? And they, 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 they there don't isn't have one. one. There isn't no, one. No, because we don't care. No. Like if you, right? You can be in an argument about something with your girl. And the second you under your breath, what do you mean the ONA virus isn't cunt. spreading? Ooh, and then the argument, whatever you were talking about, yeah. is now gone. Absolutely. That argument's There's finished. There's seven markets over. with more See, on the I way. See, I always thought that when Margaret Thatcher was like prime you, minister, you like yeah. to, you yeah. like to insult us, don't United you? Nations you like you like to war. you like to beat us <laughs> down <laughs> a little bit. Cunt. I beg your pardon. You know, fucking <laughs> bombs going off. I think the ONA virus is spreading. Where are seven really big markets? Fantastic, man. I know. Yeah, bonus yeah. time without the uh, so. bonus time. All right, cheers. You're very, right, very kind. You. Thank you so much cheers. for being so kind. Providence. All right, see very you good, man. Thank you for Very cool. Take it easy. Oh, yeah, sure. <clears throat> Anthony, uh, uh, Providence. <clears throat> and Buffalo. All right, no problem. Cheers. I am? Fareed? Where's New London?